Imagine reaching the end of the year and taking a look at Apple's ecosystem around you. Apple has pushed out device after device. The new iPhone 16e is out. The entire iPhone 17 lineup has arrived. Apple has refreshed the iPad family with a new entry-level iPad, along with the powerful M5 iPad Pros. The M5 MacBook Pros have taken another step forward, and even the Vision Pro has received a major new update. Everywhere you look, Apple has been moving fast, pushing its products into newer, smarter, and more capable territory. But then you glance over at your entertainment setup, the place you unwind every day, and sitting there is the same Apple TV 4K box you bought nearly three years ago. It still works. It still streams. But compared to everything else Apple has released recently, it suddenly feels stuck in time. No Apple intelligence features. No Wi-Fi 7. No next-generation gaming boost. Just the same small black box, quietly aging while the rest of Apple's ecosystem leaps ahead. And this is where the real question begins. Where is the next Apple TV 4K? What is taking so long? Why is every other product line getting refreshed while Apple TV seems frozen? People who follow Apple closely have been asking the same thing. Rumors have been swirling all year. Predictions have come and gone. Some expected it to appear at Apple's September event alongside the iPhone 16 lineup. When that didn't happen, attention shifted to October, where Apple sometimes pushes out smaller product updates. That window passed too. Then we started hearing whispers about an early November drop, maybe a quiet press release, maybe a stealth update. Again, nothing happened. Now the year is almost over, and there is still no new Apple TV 4K on shelves. But this is where a bit of Apple history, logic, and pattern reading helps. Apple has almost never released major hardware in December. When they do, it becomes a notable exception. The original AirPods in 2016 and the AirPods Max in 2020 are the clearest examples. In both cases, those releases were unusual and surprising. Apple typically avoids December for anything significant when it comes to hardware. They like predictable windows. They like structure. Their major hardware cycles fall into two main seasons, spring and fall. Fall is for the big, high-profile announcements like iPhones, Apple Watches, and sometimes Macs. Spring is for the smaller refreshes, the quieter updates, and the products that don't require massive stage time. So if it didn't come this fall and it didn't appear in late November, the probability of a December launch becomes extremely small. Not impossible, but very unlikely. And that leaves one logical conclusion, the next Apple TV 4K is almost certainly coming next year. Now, it doesn't end there. There are real signs pointing to the fact that the refresh isn't far away. Mark Gurman, one of the most reliable Apple reporters and someone who often leaks accurate details months in advance, has already mentioned something important. He says Apple TV 4K inventory has started shrinking in Apple stores. When this happens, it's usually not a coincidence. Apple does not allow shelves to empty unless a plan is in motion. When Apple reduces stock without any immediate restock, it almost always means a refresh is close. This pattern is well known among people who watch Apple carefully. When inventory quietly dries up, new hardware is usually around the corner. German also said something else that matters. He mentioned that Apple is working on refreshed Apple TV 4K and HomePod mini models that will play a role in showcasing the new Siri experience and the new Apple intelligence features rolling out next year. That phrase matters a lot, help showcase. Apple intelligence is one of Apple's biggest initiatives in years. They don't just want it to run on iPhones. They don't want it limited to Macs. They want it everywhere, including the living room. They want Siri to evolve, to become smarter, more natural, more conversational, and more context-aware. And for that to happen in your living room, they need new hardware. The current third-generation Apple TV 4K simply does not have the internal power or memory to support the full Apple intelligence experience. Now, let's pair that with Apple's typical update schedule. Apple intelligence is expected to fully roll out in the first half of next year, with a major iOS update planned for that window. When Apple prepares a major software expansy on, they often align hardware updates to match it. 
so a refreshed Apple TV 4K launching in early or mid-year fits this timing perfectly. The software arrives. The new Siri arrives. Apple intelligence arrives. And right alongside them comes the hardware needed to run all of it. If you had to guess the most likely launch month, March is the strongest prediction. Apple has used March many times before for quiet, spec upgrade products. Think about the entry-level iPad refreshes, the iPad Air updates, and even some of the smaller Mac announcements. They don't require a giant fall keynote. They don't need primetime spotlight. They simply appear through a press release or a small online event. A new Apple TV 4K with a better chip, Wi-Fi 7, and Apple intelligence support fits the exact profile of a March product. Not big enough for a fall keynote. Not small enough to ignore. Perfectly placed between January and June. Is this guaranteed? Of course not. Apple can always surprise us. But if you're watching this at the end of the year, the logical conclusion is simple. We are months away, not years away, from the next Apple TV 4K. Now let's shift from timing to design, because this is another important part of the story. If you're expecting a radical redesign, you're likely going to be disappointed. According to leaks, Apple is not planning anything dramatic for the exterior. The new box will likely look almost identical to the current third-generation model. That small, clean, square black box that disappears on your TV stand is largely unchanged. And honestly, that makes sense. The Apple TV design already works. It's compact. It's silent. It generates barely any heat. It doesn't need to call attention to itself. It's one of those products where the design is meant to fade into the background. So Apple has no real reason to reinvent it. The biggest changes will not be visible from the outside. The major action is inside the box. Right now, the third-generation Apple TV 4K runs on an A15 Bionic chip, which is the same class of chip found in older iPhones. It works well for streaming. It's good enough for basic apps. But when we look at what Apple is trying to do next Apple intelligence, more advanced Siri models, heavier apps, console-tier games, the A15 starts to look outdated. It's capable, but not built for the next wave of Apple's ecosystem. And that's where the Rayal upgrade comes in. The new Apple TV 4K is rumored to jump to an A17 Pro class chip, the same family that premiered in the iPhone 15 Pro. This is not a small improvement. It's a huge leap. The A17 Pro is a much more powerful chip designed to handle modern workloads, AI tasks, and high-performance games. It's the chip that brought real console-level titles to the iPhone, including games like Assassin's Creed Mirage. So when you drop that power into a streaming box connected to your TV, everything changes. Let's break down what that means in everyday use. First, navigation becomes instant. You move through menus with zero hesitation. Apps open faster. Switching between apps becomes smoother. Even small things like scrubbing through video, loading thumbnails, or moving between streaming services feel quicker and more responsive. If you're someone who notices lag or stutter on your current streaming box, the new chip will make the entire experience feel premium in a way that's hard to describe until you feel it. Second, and this is where things get exciting, gaming becomes a serious possibility. Apple has been inching toward gaming for years, slowly expanding Apple Arcade and partnering with developers to bring larger, higher fidelity titles to iPhones and iPads. With the A17 Pro inside the Apple TV 4K, the living room box suddenly steps into real console territory. No, it won't replace a PlayStation 6 or Xbox. But for many families, for casual gamers, and for people who want easy, quiet, controller-friendly gaming on their TV, this will be more than enough. With the A17 Pro, the Apple TV can handle modern, high-quality games with richer visuals and smoother performance. Combine that with cloud-based gaming apps, and Apple suddenly has a small, silent, powerful entertainment device that serves as both a streaming box and a casual console. Then there is the wireless upgrade. The new Apple TV 4K is rumored to include a custom Apple wireless chip, similar to the N1 chip found in the iPhone 17 series. This chip supports Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6. Wi-Fi 7 is not just a small boost, it's a major improvement. 
it brings higher bandwidth, lower latency, and better performance when your network is crowded. If you live in a home with many devices, you already know how much bandwidth gets eaten up. Phones, tablets, security cameras, smart appliances, laptops, game consoles, all of them fight for space on the same network. Wi-Fi 7 handles this much better. It organizes traffic more efficiently. It reduces interference. And for streaming, that means fewer buffering moments, smoother playback, more stable 4K HDR performance, and better consistency during live events or high bitrate movies. If you play cloud games or rely on fast internet for online features, the lower latency becomes noticeable too. It feels smoother. The connection feels more direct. And even if your home doesn't have a Wi-Fi 7 router yet, buying a streaming box with support for it is smart, because you'll benefit from it as your other devices catch up. Wi-Fi 7 is the future, and Apple wants this box to stay relevant for years. But the biggest upgrade of all, the feature that shapes the entire purpose of this refresh, is Apple Intelligence. This is the core reason the next Apple TV 4K exists. Apple is building its future around AI, its own version, running on device, personalized, private, and deeply embedded into every product. But here's the catch, the current Apple TV 4K cannot run Apple Intelligence. It doesn't have the required power or architecture. Apple Intelligence requires a new level of hardware performance, memory bandwidth, and efficiency. So the new Apple TV 4K must arrive soon to support it.